So the best edge defenders in the NFL usually are athletic freaks coming out. But these guys really go early. They're better bets to be great in the NFL. And they usually have a higher ceiling. Not everyone's built this way, though. And Utah's Bradley and I is a guy that I like that's probably going to be there in this second, third round who isn't a freak, but he's really, really damn good. 27 and a half sacks his past three years in the Pac-12 and three sacks in the Senior Bowl game. PFF graded him as their second highest player in that game. As you can see on the replay, he's he's really nicely able to disengage that inside hand, swim over. This pass led to an interception. You know, Anai's not really a guy who's going to be able to win with, you know, elite length, elite speed. You see his mock draftable chart here isn't quite as filled out. He doesn't have particularly long arms, just over 32 inches, 6'3", 257. And the 4'9", 340-yard dash, I think, is throwing a lot of people off. It a 1, 6, 8, 10-yard split, not shown here, which is fine, but it's not exactly, you know, he's not blowing anyone out when he's coming out of the gates as a rusher. But even with these measurables, you can still win at the next level, and he can still rush that outside arc. This is a, this is a rep against Austin Jackson, USC, and this is where he really puts it all together. He's got to rush this outside track. He's able to disengage that inside hand, bend at the end, for the easy sack. And he's not an extremely bendy player, but you can see him corner that edge. And I don't think Anai's a guy at the next level who's going to consistently beat people with his speed. Anai's best trait is actually his hand usage. And what I mean by that is he's, he's, he's able to create a lot of separation from offensive linemen, kind of disengage their hands when they try to actually time their punch. And he's still able to work that outside rush lane, despite not being a great athlete. And he's got a lot of inside counters there. He's got an inside counter spin. He's still able to work to the outside there against a very good Oregon O-line. And he's able to create some sort of backfield uh, disruption, even as a run defender. I wouldn't say he's, a, he's an exceptional run defender. But he's good with his hands and he can set a hard edge. Now, he will overspin at times and not necessarily on the, on the right reps. But in terms of his, if you want to call it his bag, is his total arsenal of pass rush moves, it, it's very developed for a prospect coming into the league. 257 is not exactly a large build. Regardless of his athletic profile that he put out at the Combine, he is a very quick player and kind of has that second burst as well. He's able to make a tackle for a loss there. He showcases that inside counter spin there. Probably needs to stay a little bit more unbalanced. But his USC film, his, his, his reps against Austin Jackson, he, he was creating consistent pressure and getting back there pretty quickly. One issue that I do have with Anai is he's, he's a bit of a snap anticipator and he'll, he'll miss time snaps at times. It, it maximizes his, his get off for sure, but he'll pick up some uh, he'll pick up some encroachment penalties, neutral zone penalties as, as a result of that. Another thing, this is more of a product of his overall athleticism. He's just not a great overall space player. You don't really want to have him isolated with a lot of field to cover. And you can see by the pursuit angle he takes, he, he's a little bit, he's pretty aware of these limitations in his game. As for a stylistic comp, I actually think he's pretty similar to Yannick Ngakwe when he came out of Maryland in 2016. This is some 2015 USF film. And if you go back, this rep's actually pretty similar to Anai's win earlier that I showed you against Austin and Jackson. Ngakwe is going to take this outside track disengage that outside hand and he's able to show enough bend to reduce the surface area make a nice play here and they compare pretty similarly to a physical profile as well similar arm length Yannick ran a faster 40 but their 10 yard splits weren't massively different and these are both players that they don't win with their length or their speed necessarily yeah, it's got a little bit more burst than a nigh. But they both really win as a result of their polish as rushers. So overall, Anai is a player, really polished, productive pass rusher in the Pac-12. 
who in college won with his hands and his overall arsenal of pass rush moves. And he has a variety of ways to do it. His overall athleticism may limit him a little bit, but I have a pretty high degree of confidence that he can still be a highly productive rusher in the NFL. I think he's more of a situational rusher in year one. I think adding a little bit extra weight to his frame would really help him excel at the next level. And overall, he's a late round two, early round three grade for me in this 2020 class.